Hey guys, Deplorable Deb. I've been saying something for the longest time, and every time I hear something like this, I, I, I feel I'm, I'm right. I'm just really right and saddened. And sometimes I, I really cannot believe that this is not the Twilight Zone. When I heard today that there is a coffee shop in Oakland, California, that has refused to serve a uniformed police officer officer because they're protecting the emotional and safety of their customers. Now let that set in because I'm not understanding this. You know what? I think that the police department, I think that Jeff Sessions, I think the White House has to figure out what is going on? What's going on in that area? You know, sometimes this, this sounds like, you, do you remember these people that go around like, like you know, that are, are collecting money for safety? What is truly happening? See, when I kept saying that for years, Obama really, really turned this country around. He brought out the division more in racism, plus... The whole downgrading of police. This is really sad. This, this really breaks my heart because I'm an aunt, okay, to a law enforcement. And I do not understand how one of a prestigious job to hold is being law enforcement. To know now that an officer could go in there and they refuse to serve him as if he's a thug. He's a thug. He's a piece of shit. Something is wrong here. And I don't think that the police department should let this go. They need to find out what's behind this. Number two, what freaking idiots that coffee shop is. Because now it's out there that they don't want to serve uh, police officers. Then you know what? Then the police shouldn't go there. That's what I want to know. How dumb is this owner? Uh, if something happens, who are they going to call? Huh? Who are they going to call if something happens? They're going to dial 911. Who's going to come? How disgraceful. This is really sickening that we have California who is almost like living in a foreign country. And people, you should not let this happen. You should not let this happen. We have laws. We have immigration laws. This should not be that there is um, any business, any business to turn around and say they're not going to serve our law enforcement. Do people understand what I'm getting at? I'm getting at the breakdown. This is exactly what Obama was doing. Breaking down. So nobody has respect for our police. How could this be? I'm telling you, I'm, I'm mortified hearing this. And what are they going to do? Uh, just let it go? Not not uh, find out what's going on? And now police officers have to worry that if somebody even knows they're, they're, they're an officer to go into a place and not know what somebody's putting in their food or spitting in their cup? It's disgraceful. You know what, guys? It's sickening. It's sickening and... They have to do something about it. Because if, if they allow this to brush this off, there will never be respect for police officers. How could a, a company say that they're doing it at, because they don't want them? I, I don't get that. I, I've never heard of something like that. That people are, are afraid when an officer goes in, in a place. You should be happy. It's not going to get robbed. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not understanding this. See, you know the shit that gets me? These freaking people down there, they come from these countries, okay? They come from these countries where shit happened. Their country goes to pot because they didn't stand up and fight. So now what do they do? They come running to California where they're taken in, and I still say, people better look into Governor Brown Look into where they're getting money to do this. I still say it. Something's wrong here. People are getting paid. 
And you know what? They're taking the money instead of protecting you guys. I know there's good people in California that have no place to go. I hear it, guys. People are writing me. They want out of California, and I try to tell them. The best thing to do is to try to change it. This is sickening, and something's wrong. Something's wrong, people. Somebody's paid. Somebody's paid to allow this to happen. And you got to remove them. You got to remove that governor or you're going to pot. I'll tell you right now, you're going to pot. Sorry, that's just how it is. This is disgraceful. So sad. So sad that this that that they're putting where policemen now don't even want to let people know. Okay, I heard this already. I heard this already. You want to know something my great nephew was in college. And he was afraid to let Imagine this, afraid to let other students know that his father is a detective. Do you believe this? How disgraceful. How disgraceful we become. See what I mean? But it's okay, right? That if your father's a thug, see? That's okay. Unbelievable. It really is. It makes me sick. And I hope, I hope that we do something about it.